Okay, hello guys. Uh, well, I hope everyone is doing okay. It's really nice to see you once again in the class. Well, not actually see you, right? Because some of you, I have never seen you, but um, well, I hope everyone is doing okay. Uh, before we start, can everyone listen to me clearly? Yes. All right, perfect. So um, thank you so much, as I always tell you before we start the class, for being always on time, because that shows that you are always there, like, like waiting for the class. That's something really nice from your part. So I do really appreciate um, that. So before we start the class, guys, I'm going to always ask you some questions as usual. I'm going to ask you some questions regarding to the topic that was so yesterday. What can you tell me about yesterday's class? Verbs. The, the what? So I'm asking in general, what can you tell me about yesterday's class? Everyone. Ayer hablamos sobre el presente continuo. El presente continuo. Present continuous. What's that? What is the present continuous? How do I form the present continuous? S is the verb plus the ing. The ing, all right. And how do I form the present continuous? Is there is there a formula? Is there something yes. that I need to follow in order to create sentences? Yes, there is a, a form. What's formula. The, What's the formula that we have for the uh, affirmative sentences, sir? Subject plus verb to be plus verb ing and the complement. Okay. From the positive, positive answers. All right. Thank you so much. What about the negative ones? What's the difference? What do we add? Do we add something extra, yes or no? Yes. What's the negative for? It's the same, but we are going to, to add. Are um, not or mm -hmm. aren't? Yeah. We're right. going to add the, the word not. The word not, okay. Do we have contractions, guys? Is it possible to use contractions in the present continuous? Yes. All right. So. Um, we are going to do a practice before we start. And this practice, you will need to send me your answer through the chat, okay? So I'm going to spell you, voy a deletrearles, a verb, and everyone needs to send me the message using the ING form. Do you understand what I'm saying? In the group or in the personal no, chat? It's, no, it's going to be here in the chat, in the okay. video call, uh -huh. in the video calls chat. So everyone understood what I said? Did you understand, guys? No, no, it's me, look, I'm going to say. Okay, so I'm going to spell you there. Sí, voy a deletrear un verbo, and Lo van a escribir en el chat de la videoconferencia, ¿sí? Les voy a deletrear el verbo y lo que van a hacer es agregarle ING. So, my purpose or the purpose with this activity is for me to verify, first of all, your understanding with spelling, ¿sí? Primero, el punto número uno de la actividad, verificar si aún seguimos teniendo problemas con spelling. And number two, uh, check if you understood the rules that we saw yesterday, okay? So everyone understood what I said. Are we clear? Teacher, yes. ¿a dónde lo vamos a compartir? It's going to be here in the chat of the call. ¿En el chat de Zoom? Yes, yes, here. Ah, no sé cómo se hace, pero igual. 
You have never done that? No, no sé cómo se comparte una imagen en el chat. De... No, 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 no. Eh, no necesito que lo compartas, solo que escribas el mensaje. Ah, uh, ok, entendí, entendí. Ok, all right, cool. So, uh, yo voy a deletrearlo. So, be careful. Sí, ahí vamos a ver quiénes están teniendo problemas still with the, with the spelling and obviously some of the rules that we suggested. So, everyone is ready. I'm going to start, okay? Um, let me see. Uh, G, E, T. That was it, G, E, T. All right, I already got Carla, Fernando, I already got Catherine, um, Nivia. Okay. We are 11 here in the call, guys, with me, Elizabeth, Maricela. I'm still missing the one from Farrell. And I'm still missing the one. Okay, Omar already got it. Teresita, okay, cool. All right. So some of you guys probably did not understand the instructions. Algunos quizás entendieron la mitad y la otra no, because I said que yo les iba a decir el verbo y ustedes le iban a agregar las reglas que vimos ayer. So, the only one, eh, los que están correctos son Elizabeth, Teresita, Omar, Karen, Carla Flores, and Juan. The other one, solo me, me escribieron el verbo, ¿sí? All right, but that's good. So, let's go and verify another one. So, pay attention. The verb, the next one is going to be L I S T E N. Once again, L I S T E N. Okay, I got one. All right, Omar as well. I got Elizabeth, I got Catherine, okay. Okay, let me see who else. I got Carla, Teresita, okay. Okay, let me see. All right, so uh, Nidia, all right, cool. Guys, all right, so I do understand, I understand that yesterday we saw some of the rules. Um, we still um, we still have some exceptions that we didn't completely check, but this verb, guys, is an exception. It means that we do not double, significa que este verbo no duplicamos la última n, even though um, it might follow the rules, see? ¿sí? Pudiese parecer que sigue la regla like because it finishes like in consonant, vowel consonant. But in this one is an exception. So even though it follows the rule, we do not double the last consonant. So in this one, we just got uh, Juan Fernando, Omar, Maricela, Elizabeth, and uh, yes, you are the only ones that got it correctly. De ahí los demás me duplicaron la otra N. I understand, as I said, entiendo. But this one, see, sí, para la próxima ya sabemos que this one is an exception, okay? Let's go with another one. This is going to be the last one. Este va a ser el último, okay? Uh, let me see. Uh, you 
S E. I will repeat it once again. U S E. Uh, Okay, I got Omar, I got Catherine, Juan Fernando. Nidia, all right, Elizabeth, Maricela. All right, so what about the other ones, guys? I still haven't, aún no he visto ninguna respuesta de Pharrell, eh, ninguna de Ana. And I don't know if you're there or I don't know. So um, let me see. So this one, it was really easy actually, because as we know, according to the rule, the rule says that uh, because the verb ends in the letter E, we just change the, I'm sorry, the letter E for a letter ING, we just add ING and that makes it in the gerund, okay? Using, use, using. That's very good. So the majority of you got it that correctly. So for today, guys, we are going to still see part of the, um, we are going to still see part of the present continuous. And uh, uh, today we're going to be focusing on questions, okay? How to create questions and how to, uh, like um, how to give some answers to those questions. So we're going to start with that. So today's guys is our um, 14th class. It means that we just have two more classes. And uh, at this moment or at this point, everyone should have already finished the platform, see? ¿sí? A este punto ya todos deberían haber completado la plataforma because we just have Two more days, see? ¿sí? Dos días hábiles más to complete the module. So if you haven't finished it yet, so try to complete it. So, so you, you, you won't have any problems if you do so, okay? Uh, so let's start with today's class, guys. As I said, today we're going to still continue with the present continuous, uh, but today we're going to be focusing on the how to create questions and uh, how to give some answers to those questions, okay? So we are going to start once again with this part that we saw, I think that we saw this part yesterday, but this is going to be just for you to remind. Let me see, I would like to get a, some help. Um, Catherine Reyes, can you please help me reading this part? We use the present continuous to talk about actions happening now at the moment. Okay, thank you so much. And uh, we had here an example that it was Alice is riding her back. I just added these, uh, the same slide because it's important for you to remind what's the, the present continuous about. But I consider that at this moment, everyone knows like how to create or how to make uh, affirmative and negative statements with the present continuous. So let's move on. Here, guys, we have the way we need to, uh, like the formula we need to follow in order to create a question. And it is very simple. It's not that complicated. So as you can see, we, what we do, lo que hacemos es, we just reverse, revertimos, right? We move the verb B at the beginning, then the subject, then the verb, and obviously the ing form of the verb, okay? And the most important part, the question mark at the end, see, el signo de pregunta at the end. So as you can see, we have here the two ways. We have the singular form and the plural form. So as you can see, we reverse, revertimos the verb be at the beginning. And we have an example like this. Am I reading? This, uh, 
This one, este lo podemos decir, we can pronounce it in two ways. Lo podemos pronunciar de dos formas. Number one, am I, despacio, am I, or I can say am I, yes, am I or am I. So both of them are correct. It will depend on you. You will decide which one you are going to use, okay? So am I reading? Are you speaking? Is he crying? Is she eating? Is it cooking? Now let's go with the plural. Are you telling? Are we sleeping? Are they skin? All right, so here, we can see like the very basic form of creating uh, questions. And how are we going to answer those questions? ¿Cómo vamos a responder a esas preguntas? It's very simple. How? Because this one, estas que tenemos acá son a yes or no questions. ¿Qué significa? That when someone asks you a question like this, cuando alguien le haga una pregunta como esta, you are going to answer either a yes or no. For example, if someone tells me yes, you can say yes. Si alguien me hace la pregunta, are you speaking? I'm going to say the forma corta, the short answer, yes, I am. Yes, so that's the short answer. What if someone tells me no? I will say, no, I am not. Yes, and that's the very simple way to say. So we got to keep in mind, we need to remember that the short answers, las respuestas cortas to these questions, questions like these, preguntas como esta, are going to be, Yes, I am, obviously, depending, depending on the subject, see, ¿sí? dependiendo del sujeto o pronombre. Because if someone asks you, for example, let me see, if someone asks you, Carla Flores, uh, is she cooking? What would be your short answer to that? Respuesta corta sería, teacher. Yeah, short answer. Yes, I am. No, listen, listen to the question. Is she cooking? Sorry, sorry. Is she cooking? Mm -hmm. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. How would it be the negative? Um, no, she is not. She is not. Thank you so much. Okay. Simple as that. So as you can see here, it's not that complicated because these type of questions are a yes or no questions, okay? So let me verify this. Teresita, if someone asks you, are we sleeping? How would you answer in a positive, in, in a negative way? What would your answer be? Are we sleeping? Yes, we are. And the sleeping. negative one? Uh, sería... No, mm -hmm. we aren't. We aren't or no, we are not. But now I think that you are understanding. These type of questions are always going to be a yes or no. So let's keep that in mind. So is there any questions so far? If not, I'm going to move on to the next one. So we can see another type of questions that we can create with the present continuous. So far, so good? Okay, so I, that was a yes for me. So uh, let's move on. 
And here we have some other examples, like more clear, more detail. See, un poco más detallados. For example, here we have, aquí tenemos todas las respuestas que le podemos dar a todas estas preguntas. Example, if I have, am I painting? Yes, you are. No, you are not. Or you aren't. If someone asks you, are you painting? Yes, I am. Or no, I am not. Or I have a second option that it would be no, I'm not. Okay. Is she swimming? Yes, she's. No, she is not. Or no, she isn't. Are we walking? Yes, we are. No, we are not, or no, we aren't. Uh, is there any volunteer that would like to help me reading all these uh, interrogatives? Teacher. Okay, Nidia, help me. Please, all of them, all of them, and try to give me a positive or negative answer. Mm -hmm. um, the positive. Okay. Um, yeah, am I? Am I? Am I? Pardon. I'm sorry. Are Are you? Mm -hmm. And what about the verb? What happened? See, see. If you say, "Am I?" Siempre. Am I? Okay. Am I painting? Painting. Painting. And are you eating? Mm -hmm. Is he swimming? Uh huh. Is she walking? Walking, okay. Walking is is it painting? Okay. He, are we eating? Mm -hmm. Are you swimming? Okay. Are are they walking? Walking, okay, very good. So, uh, help me reading the positive answers, please. Okay, um, I am. Yes, I, I am. Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, you are. Mm -hmm. Yes, she, he is. Mm -hmm. Yes, she is. Yes, it is. Yes, we are. Yes, you are. Yes, they are. Okay, very good. Uh, let me see. Now I'm going to decide. Thank you so much, uh, Nidia. Let me see. Um, Maricela, can you please help me reading once again the questions? But now, please, when you are reading one by one, give me a negative answer. Um, am I painting? Am I painting? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Mm -hmm. Are you painting? Mm, eating, Seria. Oh, eating? Painting. Eating? No, you are not. Mm -hmm. Is he swimming? No, he's not. Is mm -hmm. she walking? No, she's not. Are we painting? No. We are not. Okay. Um, me falta. They are they walking? No, they aren't. They, no, are. they are not. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. So this is another like more specific information about the same type of questions that we just saw. Okay, that these are the yes or no questions. Uh, but now we are going to, to move to try to verify another type of questions that we can also have in the present continuous. And here we have, yes, with the present continuous, we can also use WH questions. ¿A qué le llamamos WH questions? A todas aquellas que empiezan con WH, okay? 
But even though, aunque how, este how de acá no empieza con WH, <coughs> is still part, aún es parte de las WH. So we have who, que significa quién, what, que ya todos sabemos que es qué, o cuál, when, que es cuándo, where, dónde, why, por qué, and how, cómo. All right, so who, what, when, where, why, how, how, all right? So this is the formula that you need to follow in order to create these type of questions. These type of questions, guys, are not going to be a yes or no question. See, esto significa, it means that in these questions, you need to give a complete answer. See, una eh, respuesta completa. For example, if I say, who is, um, let me see, what are you eating? What are you eating? Le estoy preguntando, ¿qué estás comiendo? What are you eating? If I say that, no puedo decir yes or no. Why? Because in these type of questions, you need to give a complete answer. It means that if someone asks me the question, this question, what are you you eating what are you eating oh it's not working okay let me see what are you eating i'm going to give an answer that will be like i am eating pupusas all right that is going to be my answer see ese va a ser el tipo de respuesta que le vamos a dar when we have a WH question at the beginning. So as you can see, they are completely different. Son completamente diferentes. Why? Because the first one that we saw, they were a yes or no uh, questions, but these ones are completely different. Remember that in these type of questions, you will need to give a complete answer so it will make sense. Otherwise, the otra forma, it won't make sense. All right. So, uh, is there any question at this moment? Eh, sí, yo tengo una pregunta. Yes. Who is es cuando, verdad? No. Who oh. is quién? Oh, who is quién? Mm -hmm. El when es cuando. Ay, que siempre las confundo. Where? Donde. Ah, okay. Okay, so Gracias. let me see. Um, uh, let me see. Karen Rivas, if I ask you the question, where are you eating? Where are you eating? Can you give me an answer to that question? Karen, well, I think she's not there. Okay, uh, Juan Fernando, if I ask you the question, where are you eating? What would yeah. your answer be? Yeah. Uh, I'm eating pizza. Okay, listen, listen to the question. Where are you eating? Uh, I'm eating in Planes de Rendero. Okay, that's very nice. Thank you so much. Let me see, uh, Nivia. Oh, what was that? What are you come? Oh my God, that was great. Okay, Nivia, if I ask you the question, who are you eating with? Something very important, guys. Algo que quiero que sepan que cuando utilizamos la WH question, who, tenemos que agregarle la preposición with al final 
para que tenga sentido, ¿sí? De lo contrario, no tendrá sentido, ¿sí? If I ask you, Nidia, who are you eating with? Um, I am eating white rice. Son? What are you trying to say? With my, with, with my with, son? With my son, yes. Okay, very nice. Okay. Let me see. Uh, Omar, are you there? Is he there? No, right. I think he's not there. All right. So, uh, Teresita, if I ask you the question, why is he crying? Why is he crying? Okay, let me give you something mm -hmm. else after. Cada vez que una persona nos haga una pregunta, why, siempre vamos a decir because, ¿sí? Después que decimos, for example, why is, she, is he crying? He's blah, 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 because... All right, so if I ask you that question, Teresita, why is she cooking? Why is she cooking? What will be your answer? Mm -hmm. Um, sería... She is um, Can someone help her? Alguien podría ayudarla? Pienso que sería she is cooking because I like. Because she likes it, ¿sí? Porque ella le gusta. Sí, she is es cocinar, ¿verdad? Cocinar, yes. She is cooking, okay. ella está cocinando because she okay. likes that. Okay, thank you so okay. much, Nidia and Teresita. Let me see, um, Elizabeth. Ya me parecía raro, profesor. <laughs> what? Um, no, let me see, another one. Where? Are you sleeping? Where are you sleeping? Where? I am sleeping in my bed. Bed is come over there. In in your bed. 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 Okay. Yes. Very bed. good. Thank you so much. Let me see Omar. Oh, I already see him there. Omar, are you there? He's still not there. Okay. All right, cool. So is there any questions so far? Remember, recuerden, when we use who, cuando utilicemos who, al final de eso debemos agregarle the preposition with. See? ¿sí? With. And every time that someone asks us a question using why, we are going to always say because, siempre vamos a tener que decir because something, okay? So if there's no questions, I'm going to move on because today we do not have too much information. I mean, I consider that this part is very easy. It's not complicated. And I also wanted to tell you that we have contractions also, contractions with the verb be, with the WH questions. It means that if I use, um, if I have who is, I can make the contraction and I can say whose, whose. But you gotta be really careful with the pronunciation because it's very important that you pronunciate the letter S clear, all right? Very clear. So if you have why is, you can say why. If you have what is, what. If you have how is, house. If you have where is, where's. 
if you have when is whence. So in all of them, we can make that contraction, okay? But that is only going to happen con la forma singular. It means, significa que con, what, what, is the, what is the plural of the verb be? What's the plural of the verb? R. Okay, so I cannot make contractions with the plural form of the verb be. Sí, no puedo hacer contracciones con la forma plural. Sí, it's going to be only with the singular form of the verb be. All right? So, um, guys. Se, se pregunta, ¿por qué no se pueden hacer contracciones con el verbo plural? Uh, first of all, first of all, let, let me put an example here. Vamos a tomar un ejemplo aquí. Tratemos con who. Si sabemos que who are, it will be equal to, let me see. It will be something like, um, let me see. Just give me a moment. Uh, because the, I have to change the keyboard. Tengo que cambiar el, the keyboard. Just give me a moment. All right. Okay, cool. We're back. So uh, let me see. I was saying the example of who. We know that if we want to talk about plural, it will be who are in utilizando un like per, personal pronoun, obviously plural, right? So we cannot say this is not possible because of the phonetic and pronunciation. See, por fonética y pronunciación is not possible, see? Eh, nuestra lógica nos diría, pues si es posible con el is, ¿por qué no con el are? ¿Sí? But in English, that's due to phonetic. Debido a la fonética, es imposible porque la fonética es pronunciation. So it will be kind of difficult, even for native speakers, aún para los nativo hablantes, it will be difficult to pronounce it like, like whore. Horror. It will be kind of weird, right? So that's why they decided not to do it with the plural. See? ¿sí? Por eso es que se decide en fonética no utilizar the contractions with the plural form of the verb. Mm -hmm. So is there any other question? Okay, so if there's no questions, guys, today, uh, well, this is pretty much it. And today we're going to have like more practices. Oh, well, actually, this is like additional. Este es como adicional. Why? Because we are going to see this one in the next module. Lo vamos a ver en el, o se va a ver en el próximo módulo. But you will be getting used to this, ¿sí? Para irse acostumbrando un poco. We can use, podemos utilizar la forma del going to, que significa yo voy a, ¿sí? I am going to eat, ¿sí? Por ejemplo, yo voy a comer, cuando alguien dice así, tú vas a comer, you are going to eat, he is going to eat, we are going to eat, they are going to eat, or I can use the negative form, I am not going to eat, you are not, or aren't going to eat, tú no vas a comer, and things like that. This is just all, only for you to know, solo para que ustedes got an extra idea of what uh, you are going to see next module, so you have an idea what, what this is going to be, all right? This is like no that important at this month, okay? Here also we have like the way that you can create questions using going to. For example, si tú haces la pregunta, are you going to eat? Vas a comer? That's a question, see? ¿sí? Are you going to eat? Vas a comer? Or you can say, you can also use WH questions with that. For example, you can say, who are you going to eat with? ¿Con quién vas a comer? Who are you going to eat with? Okay. 
This is just for you to know a little bit before going to the next module and having like extra information so that you can have an idea when you get to see this topic. But this is like not that, uh, that important at this moment for you to know, okay? So this is just extra information that I was going to give you just for you to have an idea. So as I was saying, guys, we will have this practice that is going to be also about the present continuous. It means that in this part, significa que en esta parte, here you have the verbs. Aquí tienen los verbs between parentheses, right? Aquí están los verbos entre parentheses. It means, significa que de acuerdo al contexto, usted me va a poner en presente continuo e utilizando el verbo in parentheses, okay? So this is practice number one. Cuando ya lo hayan puesto todo en present continuous, quiero que los que están, los que van a estar en ese grupo, empiecen a hacer la conversación. Es decir, dos personas haciendo making the conversation. First of all, primero, Crear, ¿verdad? Unir todo. Using present continuous. And after that, speaking, ¿sí? Hablando. All right? I need everyone to participate. Why, guys? Because we are about to finish this module. And I need you to go ready. Necesito que vayamos listos for module number two. So, here we have, no, this is, this one, we are not going to use it, okay? So, this one. Esta de acá, yes. And this is the last one. So what you're going to do in this part is also using the present continuous with the verb that you have in between parentheses, okay? This is going to be only about the usage of the present continuous. And obviously in this part, what you are going to do is just add the ing form to the verb according to the rules that we saw yesterday, okay? So is there any question guys to what we are going to do? Only three picture. I'm sorry? Only three pic pictures. Yeah, just three of them. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we are going to, to go to the word, uh, to the breakout rooms, guys. Let me see. Just give me one moment. Okay. So everyone, please join your groups and start working on what we have to do.
El verbo M. I am like. O oh, solo I like him. Ahí sí no sé. I like him. I don't. Mm. Sí, quizás I am like him. Yo creo que sí. Aquí sí, yo me estoy confundida. I, I am liking. No sé. In that one, in number three, we are just... Number three. We just have to say, I like. I like. That's I the like. only one. Esa es la única that is not going to be in I, with ING. Okay. I am like, ahí sería like. I am like, like, like it. Porque termina en E y dice de que cuando like. está en E se reemplaza la letra E, se quita la letra E. La E, e ajá, por ING. Okay. Entonces, I like him. Like him. I am like. I am like him, ajá. I am liking a lot because. Sí, verdad? Ajá. Y la otra sería in you. Is, sería I am, I am stealing, studying. Ahí sería studies. Ajá, sería la cuatro, tres, cuatro. Pero no. Dos, ahí, tres, cuatro. Y cuando termina en guay, dice que. And you, say I am, sería, so I am, Stalin. Solo se le agrega el ING. Study, ajá, study, se le agrega el ING, exacto. Stalin. Study. Pay attention ¿verdad? because that is a question. It's not a sentence. Do you see the question mark at the end? Sí, estamos viendo el signo de pregunta al final. Oh, right? my God, sí, sería ay, al pedir. Uh -huh. Sería am, 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 am I, Stalin. No, yes. sería are you. Porque siempre le está preguntando. Son dos preguntas, pero es a la misma persona. Uh -huh. Are you? De ahí dice, ¿y tú? Y luego le hace la siguiente pregunta. Yes. Sería are you. O oh, where are you. ¿Dónde es? ¿Dónde estás estudiando, no? En el... ¿En qué colegio estás estudiando algo así? Remember, remember, si utilizamos una WH, ya no podemos ¿Ah? decir yes ni ¿Ah? no. ¿Sí? Sí, porque se pinta lo que hay en tendría que ir en la 4. 
creen que hay? Um, sí. Porque estás haciendo la pregunta antes. ¿Y tú? Ajá. Sí. Luego en la quinta. Ah, hey, perdón. Allá. Uh -huh. hey, um. Luego. Creo que en la, en la cuarta sería are you, porque le está preguntando. Y si le ponemos I am, diría, todavía estoy estudiando como si él mismo se estuviera preguntando. Okay. No sé si me explico. Uh -huh. Porque are you sería, en, en traducción sería, ¿sigues estudiando francés en la universidad? Entonces, no sé cómo explicar. <risa> La misma persona hace dos preguntas al mismo tiempo. Ajá, eso. Ok. I'm, I am... A working in in a hotel near the beach. La tres dijo que era así se acaba. I like I like. It. I like it a lot because it's so interesting. Interesting. And you are you still studying French at the college? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um. I'm not like, I hear it well, but I'm not like it very much like. because we have to work too much. Okay. And, um, but one good thing is that I am writing to, fr to a French boy who life lives in the Marseille. Marseille. It helps with my friends. Are you going to work now? Uh, no, I not. I going to the supermarket to do some shopping. Do you want to come with me? I can't. Sorry, I am going to a coffee to meet my friend Melissa. She's helped me. Me. She's helped me with my thesis. I will telephone you tomorrow. Okay, speak to you tomorrow. Bye. Okay. La segunda. Hacemos la segunda. Permítame. Permítame. Creo que es esta. Y la otra sería: I can't. Uh, sorry. I am going. Ajá. Uh -huh. I am going, I'm to, going to, to, to a coffee to meet. ¿verdad? My friend me dice: Ajá. Uh -huh. Ahí sí también sería: I am going. Mm -hmm. She is helping. I think maybe with my thesis. Help white. Help. 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 Helping. Helping. Help. Ahí sería que vamos a duplicar la, la. La P. La P, ¿verdad? Help. Porque es helping. solo lleva. Solo Ajá. lleva una consonante. Helping. Ajá. Helping. Helping. Solo una, una, una vocal. Eso, solo una vocal. <ríe> solo una vocal. Helping with my thesis. Espérame. She... I am telephone yo to move. Yeah, she is help, help, helping. Helping. ¿Verdad uh -huh. que sí? Helping. She... Me with my thesis. I will telephone yo tomorrow. Y abajo dice, ok, speak to you tomorrow, bye. Bye. Uh -huh. Ok. 
Vale, entonces vamos con la conversación. Ok. Vamos a ver, dice, ¿empiezo yo? Ok. Vale, dice, hi, John. Nice to, nice to see you. What, what you doing these days? Hi, Rosanna. Okay. I just, am... just give me a, just give me a moment. Okay. Can you repeat, uh, Nivia, the first one? He said, "Hi, John. Nice to see you. Uh -huh. What, what you doing? Is it what you doing or what are you doing? I'm oh, sorry. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Okay. These days, uh -huh. <laughs> What are you doing? Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is Rosanna. I am." Working in a hotel near the beach. I I am. Creo que sí sería ahí, porque dice, ayuda con mi francés, ¿va a funcionar ahora? Bueno, pongamos ahí. Bueno, practicamos. Ajá. <risa> La 8 sería I am, ¿verdad? Ajá. Sí. Creo que no es igual. Okay, guys. Well, I saw that some of you didn't complete. Some of you were not able to complete, not even the first part. Eh, vi algunos por ahí que no pudieron terminar la parte número uno. Eh, incluso no practicaron, okay? But um, no hablaron esta cosa. But then I saw that you were still working on that. So you can practice by yourself at home. I saw that some of you were kind of quiet today that didn't want to speak that much. But I mean, at the end of the day, it's just for you to practice, okay? I hope do, that, that you hadn't, like, que no hayan tenido muchos problemas in, like, trying to fill in that out. So this is going to be pretty much it for today, guys. So I see you on Monday. And please try to not, not to miss the last two classes, see?
Eh, traten de no faltar en las últimas dos clases porque siempre se chequea quiénes han eh, asistido y quiénes no. Ok, so it's important that es importante que ellos vean que at least the last two classes, que al menos las últimas dos clases, eh, no faltaron. Ok, so uh, thank you so much for that, guys. If you can practice at home, do it. Practice. Ok, and see you on, on Monday at the same time and by the same channel. Ok, so. Ok, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, estas las prácticas que nos faltaron las vamos a hacer de, en la tarea y se las vamos a presentar o, o no. No, this is going to be just for you to practice, solo para practicar ustedes. If you want to do it, do it. If you don't want to do it, it's up to you. Es, eso ya es cosa de ustedes, just for you to practice, ¿ok? All right, so if there's some more questions, that's all I have to say. Have a good night, guys. See you on Monday. Bye. 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 See you Monday. Bye. Bye. Bye.